NSC-8, the midget, was headed to commissioning in Hawaii. They were contacted by the Navy and saw that they had some suspicious activity. NSC-8 and their crew was able to intervene and do a, a very, very large drug addiction. So when I see one of the Coast Guard ships that I had a hand in building, it makes me feel really good about it. But what makes me really feel even better is whenever I'm watching a TV program and I have my wife and son and we're watching it and daddy built that. It makes me feel really good. The NSC provides a broad range of capabilities. It is the most technologically advanced, so it allows, in addition to the drug interdiction just off the coast of the U.S., you see uh, a law enforcement role and a humanitarian role and a support role for the U.S. military that they're beginning to play on a, on a global level. I believe that the fact that we continue to be awarded more NSC contracts just solidifies the fact that these ships have gone into the fleet and they have proven themselves. They've proven to be uh, very capable, they've proven to be very versatile, and it goes beyond what the initial thought was for the type of missions that the NSC would accomplish. The Coast Guard will share their latest experiences with us, and we do share them with our office and when we have our meetings. We, we pull the team together, we tell them all the great work that they've done, this is the fruits of their labor, and it continues to keep our country safe. You've got that experience, but you've got that sense of pride and that sense of belonging um, in this workforce that is fully invested in this contract. They've worked on multiple ships. They want to do their best as they work on these NSCs. They want to uh, continue to produce a, a great ship for the Coast Guard that we all can be proud of when we see it sail away and, and join the, the fleet. We are privileged and honored to build the National Security Cutters, and our legacy team is ready for the next chapter.